What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about if vampires and werewolves still need some work uh, here in the Elder Scrolls Online. They have been nerfed and buffed. Uh, last year they were really supposed to get a big buff and were supposed to be, I guess, viable again. Now we all know that sometimes it doesn't always work out within the game because some updates, some patches, vampires and werewolves are good, some patches are not. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky, the website along with the discount code you can use at checkout is linked in the description as well. Uh, when it comes to werewolves and vampires, the difference between PVE and PVP is pretty big. Um, sometimes, of course, they will be more viable in PVP. Sometimes they're more viable in PVE. But it never seems to be just perfect or balanced between both PvE and PvP. Uh, like I said, kind of at the start, some patches, werewolves or vampires are good. Sometimes they're not. Luckily, it's not expensive to, uh, you know, get rid of, you know, your vampirism or, your, you know, being a werewolf. It's, it's pretty cheap to do that. Of course, you have to go out and find somebody to bite you again, all that kind of stuff, you know, uh, if you want to transform back into it. But overall, I feel like the direction they were going in when Greymore kind of came out, they were trying to do this rework was the right direction, but it was still just never, I guess, capitalized on. It was just never perfect still. It was never done correctly, to, to even to that point, you know, when, when Greymore was released. It was shaping up to be, I, I, in my opinion, I thought they were going to continue to work on them. I didn't realize it was going to be just, you know, a one-and-done kind of thing like it has been in the past where they would do something with them that don't really mess with them a lot. Now, while changing up the skills and everything was pretty cool here on the Vampire, uh, you know, uh, back in Graymore, that was a pretty big thing people were excited about. But at the same time, it really didn't change a whole lot. I wish there was some way that between each patch, if you were a vampire or a werewolf, that it did not ha affect you that much, that you needed to not be one or be one. I mean, as we know, some patches, it is, is not really good at all to be one or the other, in PvE at least. Uh, PvP, a lot of times, is a little different a little better in my opinion when it comes to uh, you know having to change back and forth a lot of times you can just keep your you know vampire werewolf and pvp if your pvp character is one or the other but when it comes to pve which i play a lot of now i do play some pvp don't get me wrong i don't play it you know as much as i used to and i also don't play it all the time even now when i play it even back then i didn't but overall i think when it comes to pve it feels like you're having to change you know either back to a werewolf or, or a vampire or change out of the you know out of it so you're not one it's just kind of annoying when it comes to pve that neither one of them are really something you can be all the time and, you know with it being in the game people enjoying you know the vampire thing of course in skyrim i was really hoping we get to the point where they're always viable that you don't have to change back and forth and something really needs to be done with them and i'm not quite sure what that is i i can't quite put my finger on what exactly needs to be done to keep them in a state, at least in PVE, where it's something that you can always use, something that's always viable, something that's always, uh, you know, even if there are a few cons to one or the other, that it's not something that's such a big con that you're like, well, this patch I'm going to have to change back to not being a werewolf or a vampire. I think those are really new, unique builds. They're really fun to use, and I, I, especially for new players. I, I know it's kind of confusing when to, when to be one and when to not be one. And I think it would be great if you could just go with one role or the other if you would like, and you could keep it that way permanently. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.